This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we will be starting our next topic that is material master. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is material master. Okay. Uh, then different material types, what is material type and different material types we'll discuss. Material master organizational levels. What are the different organizational levels used in material master? How they will work? Then we will understand what is material numbering. Okay. Extension of the metal master, extending the metal masters to the other organization units. Entry aids in metal master maintenance. Okay, entry aids. Then importance of MRP profile. We will see this. What is MRP profile? Why it is used? How to view changes made to material master? So once the users changes the make the changes to the metal master, how to track those changes? We will understand. Then metal master reports. Some of the important reports in the metal master and views relevant for quality management module, QM module. What are the views important for QM module? So these are the topics we will be covering in the material master. Okay. So uh, first, let's talk about material. Okay. So what is a material basically? A material is a substance or commodity that is bought or sold on a commercial basis or is used consumed or created in production a material can also be a service so basically in the sap system a material can be anything it can be a raw material which is purchased it can be it can be a packaging material which is used for packing packing activity it can be a uh, finished product finished product which is sold outside okay uh, a, a machine spare part, machine spare parts, or uh, consumables like uh, uh, floor cleaning liquids, uh, oils, okay, or even stationary pen pencils. All those things are called as materials in a SAP system. So metal can be anything. Purchased one, produced one, okay, um, uh, used as a consumable, okay. All are called as materials in the SAP system. Okay, now. What is material master record? It contains all the data required to manage a material. So material master record, you store the information about that particular material. What is a material description? Yeah. What is a material description? Okay. What is a material UOM? Okay. If let's say that material is a purchased material, then what is the purchasing time? Let's say if that material is produced material, Okay, in house production material, then what is the time required to manufacture that material? All that information about that particular material is maintained in the metal master. Okay, this data is sorted according to various criteria. I will show that uh, how the data is sorted in the system. Okay, uh, so this is what uh, we are trying to discuss. The metal master contains information on all the materials that a company procures or produces, stores, and sells. Just give me one minute. Huh? Okay. So basically, uh, Metal master uh, contains the information uh, about a particular material. That material can be anything. It can be a purchased material, produced material. Okay, uh, it can be anything. Machine spare parts. Okay, or floor. Uh, anything stationary, pen, paper, pencil. Everything. All are called as materials. And that metal master contains information about it. For a company, the metal master record represents the central source of uh, data on materials. So basically, this metal master is which we are discussing today uh, is used by uh, all the departments within the company, not only by production or planning. It is used by all. Okay, that's why it is called central source of data. Okay, the metal master is used by all components in the SAP logistics. That's what it is used by all. Okay, what are all those departments? We'll discuss in the subsequent slides. Okay. Every area of responsibility can have a metal master view 
because different user department in a company work with the same material and each of these departments to store different information on the metal that's what we just discussed okay so in the metal master every department each department will have its own data own view in that particular view they will maintain their department specific data which we will see it in the system in a minute okay each department has its own metal master record that's what okay let's say purchasing purchasing department will have its it's a view called purchasing where they will go and maintain their data their department specific data now let's say planning planning department will have their their views okay in that in that views they will maintain their planning relevant data okay so this is the one so metal master record as we just discussed is used by all the departments within the company so like purchasing sales okay work scheduling work scheduling means production qc quality so what happens is purchasing department people will maintain their data in purchasing sales people will maintain their data in sales use production manufacturing exhibition people will maintain their data in work scheduling quality people will maintain their data in qm view okay and planning they maintain in forecasting and mrp views okay and uh, most important finance finance people will maintain their data in accounting accounting view okay and uh, warehouse people will maintain their data in warehouse management and storage okay and of course basic data is common for all basic data is common for all so what you need to understand here is each department within the company will maintain their data their department specific data in their respective views okay so that's the uh, one so now let's move on so before creating the metal master we need to understand material type okay so what is material type a material type groups together materials that have attributes in common okay so let me explain this so normally what happens is okay so let's say in your company uh, let's say there are some materials they are purchased okay you do procurement you purchase them okay these materials are procured purchased okay and consumed in production consumed in production okay okay so they ultimately they consume in production but no sales they are not sold outside okay so all these kind of materials are assigned with a material type called raw materials okay so their nature is this one this is a material type this is a material type material type and their attributes attributes or you can call it as attributes or features or similar features features okay so so all the materials which are purchased consumed in production and are not sold outside those are assigned with a material type called raw materials raw materials so raw material is a material type raw material is a material type okay it will have a code roh i'll show you this in the system in a minute okay now there are some materials okay those are purchased procured okay but used for packing activity okay used for packing used for packing and as usual no sales so these are called packing materials these are assigned with a material type called packing materials all those kind of materials are assigned with a material type called packing materials okay packing materials so now the the code is work i will show you this in the system okay so this these kind of materials are assigned with this material type okay now there are some materials okay they are not purchased no procurement no procurement okay produced production they, they are produced production okay production okay but still no sales they they do the production of those materials they manufacture those materials 
but still they don't uh, uh, sell them outside so those kind of materials are called they are assigned with a material type called semi-finished semi-finished okay so all these materials all these the materials which are having this nature they are assigned with this material so normally it is hal code is hal we will see this in the system okay now there are some materials okay no no procurement as usual they produced they are produced but ultimately they are sold to the customers so those are called finished those are assigned with the material type finished finished materials okay those are called fund so this is the material type so material type is mandatory to create a material without material type system will not allow you to create the material master okay so material type is mandatory okay so that's what okay now the next question is next is material type controls which department are able to maintain material data okay whether and how quantities and values are updated in the system okay whether the material is procured internally or externally which gl accounts are updated of course this is finance one this is finance one so basically here which departments are able to maintain material data? that means let's say raw material okay so now raw material is purchased no sales so for raw materials sales department no need to maintain their data because it's not there is no sales activity for that material now let's say if you take a finished product finished material no procurement it is not purchased so purchasing department not required to maintain the data about that material so basically based on the material type the departments will decide whether to maintain their data okay and whether and how quantities and values are updated in the system so based on the material type whether stock has to get updated or not in the system values has to be updated that is decided and whether the material is procured internally or external so that's what if it is a raw material it is procured one if it is a finished product it is a internally produced one. that is also decided by the material type okay so these are the material types this is what we are discussing okay and also they control some other other features other functions like number assignment which we will discuss in a minute procurement type that's what whether externally procured or internally produced which user departments has to maintain the data the one which i just explained for raw materials sales sales data is not required whereas for finished products purchasing data is not required. so which department has to maintain data then field selection this is uh, in the material master which field is mandatory optional that is decided by this material type also okay and account determination which accounts has to be posted during the transactions that is also decided by the material type. okay so these are some of the material types okay if you see here this is the one the one which i explained is raw material semi finished products finished products and also you have some other material type like trading goods okay operating supplies the one which i which i explained like floor cleaning liquids those kind of things packaging materials so these are all standard sap material types sap by default provides these material types and if you want you can create your own material type but that is handled by the mm team mm team will create this custom material types if at all any new material type is required they will create okay so now uh, we will move on to the creation of the material okay so let's go to the system and start creating the material so basically the the transaction codes to create the materials create the transaction code is mm01 change once you create it change is mm02 and the display display is mm03 these are the codes okay normally uh, in sap any master data creation creation t code normally will be like this xx0 okay change xx02 and display will be xx03 normally the transaction code pattern will be like this okay uh, so now let's go to the system and create the material master okay uh, i will log on to the system Okay, 
we already discussed on the navigation last week how to navigate in the system and all we discussed already okay okay so in in the initial stages i will show the navigation path but after few classes i will be directly entering the t code in the command fit okay so let me go to the menu path go to logistics open the logistics go to production all our our pp transactions are available in this folder production open this go to master data open this folder okay here you have material master open this okay material open this folder create general take this one open this mm01 this is the t code double click so you will be getting this screen create material initial screen we are here okay now don't enter the material code as of now we will discuss about material numbering okay first one is the industry sector okay so if you click on the drop down you have some industry sectors here let's take beverage okay i will create a beverage uh, industry scenario basically okay now the next one is material type okay material type which is discussed what is a material type why it is used and all suppose if you don't enter the material type here if you try to continue you see the error enter a material type so to create a material material type is mandatory without material type you cannot create a material okay so now what we will do let's create a finished product let's create a finished product finished product okay i will create i'll create a finished product like uh, pepsi pepsi a uh, one liter bottle okay i will create this product okay uh, just to just to show you uh, this one now this one we are trying to create uh, this this product let's say okay this we are creating this is a material we are considering this finished product as a material and we are creating in the system okay so let me select the material type so if you click on the drop down you have the material types so let's search for the fut what is the material type of the finished product code fut this is the material type and its code every material type will be given uh, assigned with a material material type code that is fut okay now search here okay scroll down a bit or you can type f e r t okay you got it here you see finished product fut select that okay now once you do this we are here on the initial level we we selected the data now we have to go to main working level main working level is the place where the in the views you will maintain the data okay so now what you need to do is here you see there is a button at the top select views okay you need to click on that button so basically another thing is to be noted here is you should not worry about the transaction flow whatever i am showing it in the system these are uh, documented with step by step screenshots okay so i will share all those documents okay your main focus should be during the training to understand the concepts okay not on the transaction flow okay we are just executing these transactions to understand the concepts in detail not just for the sake of transaction execution okay well, i'll show you suppose let's say the the concept is if you don't have the material type system will not allow you to create the material okay suppose if i if i make it black system is not it will not allow to so to understand the concepts we are executing the transaction okay so transaction execution in the real time the users will do we will not be doing we as a consultants we will not do this transaction execution we only just design the system so your focus should be on understanding the concepts not on the transaction flow okay so let me select the material type for it. okay now you need to select uh, you need to click on this button select views now your views has come this is the one we discussed this, we are here main working level okay and nothing but this one actually this one this one okay so now let me select the views basic data one and two it is common for all okay now this is a finished product right sales views are required but as of now i will not maintain now i will maintain later point of time now this is a for finished product so purchasing is not required okay 
now let me select planning views mrp one two three four planning views scroll down a bit now it's a it's a produced one so work scheduling is required general plan data storage one two these are required because it is stored for some time qm quality is required select that view then accounting one accounting obviously you have to maintain price information so that needs to be there costing one and two i will maintain later point of time not at this moment when we go to costing topic i will maintain so once you maintain once you select the views just click on the button continue there is a button here continue the moment you click on it will ask for plant already we discussed what is plant in our uh, organization structure uh, talk that means we are creating the material in this plant that means the particular material we are trying to create is produced in this plant okay and during our training our entire training i will be using this plant 171 so what you can do normally it will come like this actually you have to select from the list so if you go to the list all the plants will be available here so what is the one we are going to use 1710 okay scroll down a bit you got it here select it put the cursor on the choose it will get copied over here okay storage location data we will maintain later point of time but we already discussed what is storage location and mrp profile also we will discuss later point of time in a minute okay we have a topic called here mrp profile that time we'll discuss profiles that time we'll discuss as of now just keep it blank keep it blank just continue now we are into what you call main working level we are here now you have to maintain the data so see now here system has assigned a code to the material every material is assigned with a unique code material number okay every material is assigned with a unique code that is called material number material number okay so now what you the point to be noted here is i have not assigned this number system only is assigning the number how system is assigning that is a question so basically here the thing is we have two types of numbering one is internal numbering internal numbering next one is external numbering external numbering okay so internal numbering means system will assign see the, the one which we are using now is internal numbering system will assign number okay now the question is how system will assign okay so in the background in the back end there is some setting okay so the, how they made the setting is like this they make a setting like this four zero four zeros right oh. one two three four so they will make a setting like this how many zeros go down one two three four five six seven eight nine so they will make a setting like this one two three four five six seven eight so they will assign a number range like this so from this it will take the number so it will assign the number in the sequential plan uh, sequential manner so now it is assigning this number now if i create one more material the next number will be like this and if i create one more material the next number will be like this. so system will assign the number in the sequential manner from this numbering internal. So this is called internal numbering. Internal numbering means system only will assign. Okay. Whereas external numbering means user will assign. User will assign. That means we have to assign. User means the person who is creating the metal master. So I'll show you. Let, let me come out of this. Let me come out of this. Okay. Again, again I will go to MM01. Now, external numbering means we have to assign. So let me give it here. Seven, one, two, three. Okay, I have to give it. We have to give it. This is called external numbering. Now click on select views. Then you will continue. Okay. Now, whether to go for internal numbering or whether to go for external numbering, the business will decide. Client will decide. They they will decide. Okay. So, but normally most of the time they will prefer internal numbering. Means system only will assign. Okay, that is numbering. Okay, so now let us go back. Remove this again. Let's start. Let's let's do in internal numbering only. Select the views. Okay. Okay, I selected the views. 
continue it will ask for plant plant is 1710 continue so now we are in the main working level we are here okay main working level uh, now let's create the metal so i'll give the description let's say this is pepsi one liter bottle okay this is a finished product i'm creating this is a description this is a material code material number and this is a description now it's unit of measure base unit of measure okay now you can select from the list match code we discussed this already okay in our uh, navigation let's say i will take the unit of measure as each each now go to basic data too. okay that means we are remaining all our option don't maintain any data here not required actually now the another point to be noted here is uh, you should not get uh, worry, uh, worried by this looking at all these fields who is going to remember all these fields no need to remember any field okay nobody is going to use all the fields okay only if you know the main important fields that's enough okay uh, now go to basic data too here nothing is mandatory just keep it keep it blank okay now the next enter we are into mrp1 view okay so we are here we are here mrp views okay so let me maintain some important fields mrp type pd okay you can select from the list but if, if i try to select every time from the list it will take a lot of time so i'll directly enter okay pd next mrp controller okay i'll select this one triple zero one lot size ex enter okay now this is a produced metal finished product right produced metal so procurement type i will take it as e in-house production it is a produced material now as it is a produced material i'll maintain in-house production time let's say three days that means to produce this material this product it takes three days okay scheduling margin key enter mrp3 that's okay as of now mrp4 that's okay now go to work scheduling i will activate batch management here uh, i will maintain data later point of time okay plant data storage one view that's okay that's okay now here qm team will maintain their data quality department okay that's okay accounting now let's enter the valuation here the finance people will maintain their data let me select the valuation class and i will maintain some price okay let me maintain what is this euro one usd what is the price currency currency usd right that's okay not a problem okay accounting to maintain price not sure my usd that's okay uh, accounting to okay here nothing is mandatory that's okay now after after entering all this data at the top you have a button save you need to click on that button the material gets created okay see the material got created this is a material we create okay so this is how you will create a material okay and there is some additional data which we will discuss later point of time okay so this is a material numbering we talked about number assignment for material so either you can have internal numbering or you can have external numbering okay it is basically linked with material type basically but mm team will do that okay so now so before going to the organizational levels now we created the material okay now after creating the material this is a material i created okay now after creating the material let's say i want to change the data i want to change some data in this material so now you have to go to change mode mm02 mm02 i'll start freshly okay mm02 okay normal scenario it, you will get like this okay now the question is i want to that change the data for that material but if you know the material code that's okay i know the material code now just enter the material code okay but if you don't know the material code you can do the search also you have that option in the system okay here you see there is a button here match code button click on that here you can search again if you search all the materials will come so i want to filter based on certain criteria let's say i know the product is pepsi so what you can do here in the description put here pepsi this is this is called wild card searcher put pepsi 
okay put starts okay now it will give you all the materials which are having description pepsi so this is one kind of search see you got this many you got this many of course this is a training system so people are creating same materials again and again but don't worry but in real time you will not have this duplication so you see the one which we created just now it is showing so now just select it this is called wild card search okay uh, now you have the material enter now let's say i want to change some data i want to change the production time okay now you, you can select the view mrp2 view continue plant it will ask now this time if you click on the list now it will show you only the plants in which this material is available okay now it is see this material is only available in this plant that means it is produced in this plant not all now this time it is not showing all because this material is already created now select the plant choose it got copied over there continue now let's say it is three days now later point of time they decided that due to some reasons production time increased let's say four days change it four now save it so this is how you will change the data you have to go to mm02 enter the material select the view where you want to change the data go to that view and change the information and save now the display now the next one is display display is just a pure display if you go to display now we are in mm03 so now if you go to any view enter select the views you want to see the information select view continue plant is 1710 continue now you see everything is grayed out now you cannot enter or edit the data they all grayed out because we are in display mode we are in display so that is the display okay so now let's continue now the next one is the material market material master organizational levels so what it here is in the material master some data is valid for the entire company whole enterprise okay like material number material short text means material description material group units of measure these are all valid for the entire company whereas some data like purchasing data mrp data this data is valid for a particular plant particular plant and also there is some data valid for a storage location this we will see later point of time okay so let me show you this in the system suppose now let us go back now let's say i want to go to basic data one and two okay I selected only basic data one and two. Nothing is deselected. I selected right. Okay. Now the moment I click on continue, what do you observe? System directly going into those views. Directly going into those views. It is not asking for any plant. That means the data which is maintained in this basic data one and two valid for all the plants where this material is used or produced. Okay, you see, it is not asking for anything okay suppose if i go back again i will go inside suppose if i select mrp one two three four okay the moment i click on continue what do you observe it is asking for plant previously for basic data one and two it is not asking anything but now it is asking for plant so now if i continue let's say one seven one zero is my plant continue now you see this this information whatever is there maintained in these views let's say mrp2 views it is applicable only for this plant not for other plants if this material is manufactured in those plants in those sites now this four days is valid only for this this plant not for other plants if it is manufactured over there also so this is called plant specific data this is called plant specific data okay so that is the one organizational levels okay let's move on next one is the extending material master okay so now let's say um so let's say now we have this material okay we have this material let's say uh, take the scenario of uh, take the scenario of uh, pepsi uh, pepsi us okay uh, pepsi us so pepsi usa let's say they have a manufacturing unit manufacturing unit in unit in uh, let's say 
Dallas. Okay, let's say Dallas. So Dallas plant code is 1710. Let's 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 assume. Okay, so we have already created the material. Now Pepsi USA company recently started a new manufacturing unit. Okay, uh, let's say in, uh, let's say in uh, Fort Worth. Let's say in Fort Worth. Okay, Fort Worth, USA. So now they decided that same Pepsi one liter bottle they want to produce in this plant also. Okay, so in that case, no need to create the new material code. Product is same. Product is same. Product is same. Now it is getting produced in another place, another site. So now what they do is they will extend that material to another site. Let's say the site code is 1010. Plant code is 1010. Okay, so same product is produced in another site, another place that time you will go for extension extension okay so you have the product you have the material it is already exist in one plant now you have to extend that material to another place okay that is the that is called extension extending the metal master okay so now let's see this how, how it is done in the system okay so now you know the metal code now you know the code okay now go back again you go to material now let's from here onwards i will use the command field mm01 okay now go to the material again normally you will get like this huh? normally initially you will get like this everything will be blank okay normally you will get like this now you know the material code i want to just extend it that's all okay so now you have to enter the material code enter the metal code just enter once you see the moment I enter, system is proposing industry sector and material type. Why? Because this material is already there in the system, and for that material, we already assigned industry sector and material type. Okay. Now select views. Okay. So as usual, select the views. Okay. Let me select few views. Okay. General plan data storage one two view two M view. Let me select the same views. Now continue. Okay. Now our plant is different one. Let's say I will, I will extend to 1010. 1010. Select this. Continue. Okay. So now the same med C. Now if, even if you observe also, it is not going to basic data one and two. The reason is it is same for all, all plants. So that's why system directly taking you to MRP one. Okay. Now let's maintain PD, MRP controller, lot size, MRP two. Here let's say I'll maintain six days. Now in the previous plant, it was around four days. Now here you can maintain six days. Okay, let's say continue, continue, continue. It's okay, batch management, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, valuation class, that's okay. We are also at 19, 10, same country, right? Okay, done, save it, yes. So now the same product is getting produced in two sites. Now, if you go to display again, if you go to display suppose if i go to mrp one two three four okay if i go to org levels you see i'll keep this blank okay now if you go to uh, plants now you see it is showing two plants okay now if you want to see 1710 plant data select 1710 or if you want to see the 1010 site data select 1010 now continue now you see if i go to mrp2 here it is showing six days because this is plant level data but if i go to 1710 okay if i go to 1710 see it is showing four days four days the reason is this mrp data is plant specific data that's what you need to understand okay so this is how you will extend the material master again uh, as i told you earlier do not worry about the transaction execution flow Okay, you may be finding it. I am going somewhat too somewhat fast, but uh, don't nothing to worry on that part. Whatever I am showing it in the system, I will share the documents with step by step screenshots. Using that, you can practice in the system. Your main focus should be on understanding the concepts. Okay, uh, so now we completed the extending the metal master. Now let's move on to the managing the materials. We'll talk about managing the materials. Okay. So 
during the uh, while working on the material master sap has given some options some tools entry aids this will make our life easy first one is a settings next one is a met reference material third one is profile fourth one is a collective entry of storage location data fifth one is mass maintenance now let's discuss one by one first is settings settings means let's say now you have the material let me remove everything now we have our product what is the product fc let me take from here is going to type okay this is a product we just created let's see one liter bottle okay uh, now it is available in two plants correct 1710 and 1010 now let's say what what we assumed 1710 as a dallas okay and 1010 was fort worth these are us places of fort worth okay now let's say i am a i am a planner in uh, uh, dallas site i am a, i am a production planner production plan. okay now i want to see only in the mr in the metal master only mrp views mrp 1 to 4 mrp 1 to 4 views i am not bothered about other views okay i, I want to see these views only so now if i go to material master so now it is coming like this so every time what i need to do i have to select mrp 1 2 3 4 i have to select this will take some time it will consume some time so i want whenever i go into the system i want this mrp 1 2 3 4 to get selected by default i don't want to select every time manually now i am working in 1710 plant i am a plan so i want 1710 to get selected by default okay so here if i go of course it is coming here it, it was made default so now let's say i every time what i have to do as it is existing in two sites i have to come here i have to select 1710 again time consuming so what i want system to select 1710 by default so this you can achieve through settings so what you have to do is let me go back go inside now select mrp 1 2 3 4 okay now here you see at the at the bottom there is a button default setting button Okay, you need to click on this. Just click on it. Next time onwards, when you go, it will select these four views automatically. Now continue. Now 1710. Let me select this. It's all something by default. This that's okay. Select 1710 and click on the default setting. Now from here onwards, when I go inside, these views will come out of get selected automatically, and the plant also gets populated automatically. 1710. Now you see. Go back, go back. Now go to MM03. Okay, enter, enter the material. Enter. Now what do you observe? MRP one to four views got selected automatically. No need to select every time. Not required. Now if I again click on continue, what do you observe? One seven one zero is coming by default. So that is settings. That is settings. Okay. Next one is the reference material. Reference material means copy. Suppose let's say you want to create a new fresh material so while creating a fresh material you have the option to copy the data from the existing material to this material of course you can change the data of course so that is called reference material copy okay so now let's see that okay now go back now let's start creating a fresh material mm01 okay select as usual beverage finished product i want to create now here you see there is a sub screen called copy from material okay now i want to copy from this material enter the material code okay enter the material code now you see the difference select views as usual click on the button select views now as we made mrp 1 to 4 default those got selected but we are in create so i have to select other views that's okay work scheduling plan data 1 2 QM view accounting one and two. Okay. And now click on the button continue. Now you see the difference. What, what is the difference now? You are getting another option copy from normal creation without any reference material, just it will ask only plant storage location. 
but as we are doing copy it is asking copy from okay now for the new material from which plant you want to copy so this material old material is existing in two sides right so i want to copy from 17101 select that now just click on continue now you see, again you see the difference see here you are getting description automatically why we are doing we are copying actually so now let's say i am i want to create an, another finished product called 1.5 liter bottle okay i am not sure in india you have 1.5 liter bottle i am not sure I'm, i don't know about us uh, but let's say they have 1.5 liter bottle okay so this is a new finished product we are creating now if you observe see each is coming by default so all the data from the reference material previous material is getting copied okay now enter now if i go to mrp1 you see pd everything has uh, uh, is coming from the reference material but wherever you want to change you can change of course you can overwrite suppose let's say mrp control is different now let's say i will change it to 100 you can do that now let's say production time this takes five days let's say this material you can change wherever you want that's the thing enter now you see but if no, there are no changes it's very easy just enter 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 price change right now obviously 1.5 liter have we have more, more cost okay, 15 usd 15 usd that's okay enter enter save so see how simple it is how easy it is to create another video so that is a reference okay next one is a profiles profiles so this is what we discussed reference reference material we just discussed while creating a new material you can use a already existing material all the and you select the views then the data will get copied that's what we did. okay and also you can select the organizational levels from which you want to copy the data from reference material to target new material that's it. okay now the next one is a mrp profile so what is a mrp profile means here let's say in your company you have a lot of materials a lot of materials all have same mrp data same mrp data okay so now instead of entering the mrp data again and again you can default them by using mrp profile mrp profile so this mrp profile will have the default data okay so now let's create a mrp profile i'll create a mrp profile okay so let's go back okay go to i i don't remember the decode okay go to logistics production go to master data okay go to material master here you have profile open this mrp profile interview question what is mrp profile normally in the interviews nobody will ask the t code so nobody will ask you what is a t code what is a transaction flow nobody will ask they'll check your conceptual knowledge what they'll simply ask what is mrp profile why it is used so these kind of questions only you, you will get it in the interviews okay so now t code is mmt1 double click here create mrp profile okay let me create uh, win one okay, win one may be there okay let me create uh, okay let me create a cv svn1 okay this i will create this is mrp profile i'm trying to create once you enter the code click on selection screen button okay you will get this screen here all the fields in the mrp views are getting displayed here okay you see mrp type mrp controller let me open one material master all the fields which are available in the mrp views will be showing over there okay you see mrp type mrp controller all are showing over here you see these are the fields okay now first let's give a name to it uh, someone underscore profile okay okay now here you have the fields now you have the fixed value default value. you see there are two columns fixed value default value. what is the difference okay fixed value means fixed value means you maintain the value for for that field when that mrp profile is assigned to the material okay you cannot change that line system automatically will propose the value but you cannot change it it will be grayed out fixed you cannot change it whereas default value means 
system will propose that value to the material, but you can edit it. You can change it. That is a difference between fixed value and default values. Okay. Now let's select it. Let's uh, select some few uh, fields. MRP type. I want it as fixed. MRP controller. Okay. I'll I'll put it as default value. Okay. Now next one is what is the other ones? Lot sizing, right? Lot size. What is the other one? Uh, what is the other one? Uh, scheduling margin key. This I will put it as fixed. Okay. So how many are there? One, two, three, four. Uh, let's select only four. MRP type, MRP controller, lot size we selected, uh, lot size we selected, and all that uh, scheduling. Okay, let's let's keep these four fields. Huh? Let me take a screenshot of this. Okay. Okay. This is data screen one. We are in data screen one. Now, once you select the fields, you have to you have to click on this data screen one. Then you will see here only the fields which we selected. Okay. MRP type, MRP controller, scheduling margin key, lot size procedure we selected. See, those are the ones we selected. Now those are showing here. So I want MRP type to come as PD. MRP controller has to come as triple zip, double zero one. Scheduling margin key, triple zero. And lot size to come as EX. Now here, if you observe carefully, the fields which are marked as default one, those are showing with blue color. You see, blue color. Whereas the field which we marked for uh, what do you call that uh, default value, it is with black color. You see the difference. Okay, now let me take a screenshot of this. Okay, so this is marked with what do you call the one which we selected as default one, it is with black color, remaining are blue color, blue color. Okay, so now done, now done. Now let's simply save it save so now your mrp profile is saved svn1 it is svn1 svn1 okay now now when you are creating a new material now you can use this so let's create a new material now. again go to mm01 mm0 okay so now when you are creating it okay let's keep it everything blank now. Normally you will get like this. Okay, now let's create a new material. No reference, not copying from anything. Simply just create a new material. Select industry sector, beverage, material type, word as usual. Okay, now select views again. Select the views. Okay, work scheduling, general plan data, storage one view, UM view, accounting one, accounting two. Now continue. Now plant now here you see mrp profile is there now if you go to the list the one which we just created what is the one we created svn1 so here it is showing svn1 now select that assign that now you see the difference continue now as there is no reference material you have to enter let's say i'll create pepsi two liter bottle pepsi two liter bottle. okay each enter enter but now the moment I go to MRP one view, what do you observe? You see, MRP type is coming by default, but you cannot edit it. The reason is it is a, we made it as fixed one. MRP type was a fixed one. That's why it is in, it's grayed out. You cannot modify it. But MRP controller system is proposing 001. System is proposing 001 from here, from here, 001 but you can modify it if you want because we marked it as a default one that's all default values you can mod modify it it will be an editable model. okay so now let me change it to one double zero now remaining i'll continue so if you are in your company if the materials are having same mrp data that you can default by using the mrp profile it will save you a time that's all Okay, production time, this I will put it as eight days. Okay, remaining scheduling margin keys coming from MRP Pro. Enter, enter, remaining things okay. I'll activate batch management, it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Accounting, enter the valuation class. Now I'll, this I will enter it as 
let's say 20 years think that's okay 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 done yes so that is how you will use mrp profile mrp profile this is the one. okay next one we will discuss about collective entry of storage location data so let's say in your company same material is stored in multiple storage locations so you have the material same material sometimes stored in multiple storage locations so now you have to create that material for all the storage locations one by one instead of that you can do collective entry okay suppose if i go let me take this first material what is our first material this one suppose if i go to display we don't have any storage location data now normally what i have to do for each storage location i have to create the data but instead of that you can do collectively so what you can do take the material T code is MMSC. MMSC. This is the T code. Enter storage locations connected. Enter the material. Plant. I want to do it in 1710. Okay. Select the first radio button. We already discussed what is radio button and all. Select the first one. List all existing storage locations. Continue. Okay. Now you will get this screen. Here you have to select the storage locations. Enter the storage locations for which you want to assign this material so let's select the story location let me select 10 q1 10 q2 okay and uh, 10 q5 these three story locations just enter that's all once you enter just save it so this is correct now if you go to mm03 mm03 now you see oh, sorry if you see the story location see now the material is extended to three story locations collecting it again it will save your time okay so that is a collective entry of story location data now the last one is the mass maintenance mass maintenance okay so mass maintenance this one so mass maintenance means i'll show you so what we did we created three materials correct First is this metal we created. Okay, I'll do one thing. Let us take this one. So this material, Pepsi one liter bottle. Let me go to Excel file now. This is the one I created. Okay. We created three materials. Okay, this is the first one. What is the in-house production time for this? Four days. In-house production time is four days. This is four days. What is the what is the value for second product? Second value, Pepsi 1.5 liter. The value is uh, what is in-house production time? Five days. Five days. Now the last one. Okay, Pepsi two liter bottle. What is the in-house production time? Eight days, correct? Eight days, okay. Now these are having different, different values. That's okay. Now later point of time, organization decided that all are having in-house production time of three days, three days. Normally what you will do, generally people will go to MM02. They will go to MM02 and they will start changing one by one. So normally what you will do, you go to MM02, mm02 okay enter the metal enter select mrp2 view plant you go inside here you will change but here in our case we have only three materials let's say in real time you have thousand materials who is going to change one by one thousand it will take a lot of time that is why they have come up with this mass maintenance mass maintenance with a single transaction with a single one shot you can change the data for multiple materials it can be 10 it can be 10 hundred thousand ten thousand you can do that okay with a single shot now let's see that how it can be done that is called mass maintenance so what you have to do you have to go to a transaction called mm17 17 okay so once you go to the transaction you will get all the fields tables and fields 
you have to select the field which you want to change and once you change it you have to enter the materials and the plant and then you have to change it okay let us see this in the system okay let me come out of this go to mm70 this is a t code mass maintenance okay here you have all the tables our our data what is a what is a field we are trying to change in house production time in house production time correct this is a plant level data already we discussed this in house production time is a plant level data okay so now here here you see plant data for material select this this is the tables now you have another uh, tab called fields go to that tab don't worry as i told earlier don't worry about the transaction flow whatever i am showing it now i have a document with screenshots okay let me show you that document also okay you can using that document you can practice i'll show you that document after completion okay so where are we okay now you have the fields here all the fields here so now you have to go for our field in house production time just scroll down okay you can search here in house production time okay these are all mar right okay you have to go to mar c okay one thing is this searching again is taking a lot of time okay so what you can do is what you can do is you can do the find also here you see there is a button here find okay click on that button what you can do is you can just type in house but not sure how it is exactly maintained let's see in house oh, you see production in house is this the same field or that is not the field to wait on production time oh, this one in house production time this is a field okay you can search also you can find also okay but this is a field so now select the field in house production time okay now just click on the button execute click on that once you click on that you will get this screen we are here we are here okay now here you need to enter the materials so now we have more than one material to enter the more than one metal you need to click on this button multiple selection click on that you will get this screen now you enter here now the question is let's say if you enter if you start entering one by one again it will take a lot of time if i enter like this it will take a lot of time correct who is going to enter like this it will take a lot of time so what you can do is here we have only three meters so you can enter one by one three but let's say you have thousand meters then again it will take a lot of time so for that what you can do is from the excel file select the list okay select the list from excel go here here you see there is a put the cursor on the first line okay first line here you see there is a button here upload from clipboard click on that button those will get copied here one shot okay you can copy like this uh, 100 1000 1000 uh, 10000 you can do whatever so materials got copied now just click on the button copy those got copied to the screen now enter the plant i want to change it in 1710 enter the plant okay now again execute again again execute <coughs> now you will get this screen so these are our materials these are our existing values 458 four five eight okay now i want to change it to three so at the top you see new value here you enter three three okay we have not opened the material anywhere right okay so now i have entered my new value okay so once you enter the new value here you see there is a button perform mass change you see click on that button so now it will get changed in the three meters like this you can do for as I told earlier, 10, 100, 1000, you can do whatever you want. Now save it. So now it will get changed in the background. As only three metals, it took less time. But if you have more metals, it will take some time. Okay. So now done. Now let's check whether it is really got changed or not. So let's go to MM03. 
okay first material what is the first material this one okay enter the first material enter mrp2 view enter plant is 1710 enter see it got changed to 3 previously it was 4 now it is changed to 3 now let's go to the next material 8 see it got changed to 3 previously it was 5 okay now go to the next material 9 see it got changed to 3 okay like this you can do the mass maintenance it will save your time basically it will save your time why we are discussing all these things is all these things is when you are working as a consultant you have to propose all these things things to the users because users will not know all these options they might be doing all the unnecessary manual work then as a consultant you have to propose all these things to the users that's why we are discussing all these things okay mass maintenance done now let's move on to the material master changes okay so metal master means changes means over a period of time the users will keep on changing the data in the metal master how to track those those changes okay who changed it okay you can see who changed the material on which date and time and what is the content change you can see all that this is very important from a consultant perspective because when they change the data some issues will come in the real time so to analyze that issues you have to see this also who changed it on which date which time who changed it what is the information changed so to see that you will go to go to this metal master changes this is called change log change log okay so let's see that so let's say i have a material okay let's go to our initial material seven enter okay select any view enter go to plant go inside now after going this here you see on the top environment display changes okay you click on this button now you can see all the changes you see first one is we created it okay then i made a initial change this is the date this is the time this is a user id my user id is this one this one okay and what what content has been changed that you want to see what you can do select that row click on this button choose it will take you to that or just double click put the cursor on it and double click. so here you can see this is a material changed changed by this user id date on this date it is changed this is a time and in the 1710 plant in-house production time is changed old value was three new value was four new value is four this is the information we changed after that what we did again we changed through mass transaction four to back to three just now we did mass maintenance so here you can do everything suppose if i make one more change again you can see that okay so let me go to change mode i will make one more change okay let me change uh, mrp controller let's say i'll change mrp controller to uh, let's say z01 okay i'm saving it i saved it now we, we, we made the change now you see you can see that you can go into change mode also okay again go to environment display changes double see one more row added here now if you go there you can see you can see i changed mrp controller field is mrp controller old value was double zero one and new value is zero one okay so like this you can see all the changes here this is very important from consultant perspective okay so that is the changes now final uh, we'll discuss material master reports okay now to see the information of one material what we are using we are using t code mm03 mm03 to see the information of one material but let's say i want to see all the material list okay so then you will be using some reports so this is the one the most widely used report standard report is mm60 mm60 okay normally you will get like this one you will get like this normal so let's say i want to see all the materials in my plant 1710 so go here select the plant from here or if you know directly enter 1710 just takes you you will get all the materials in this plant this is a material code 
plant, its description, material type. We already discussed the material type, material group, all these things. Who created it? It, will, it is showing in this plant. Suppose, let's say, go back. I want to see all the materials in my plant 1710 with material type fund. I want to see only the finished products. So select them, uh, click on the material type and go to FUT. FUT, finished products. Material type is FUT. Select that, just export. See, now it is showing only the finished products with material type FUT in this plant. See, you can scroll down. These are all the materials. These are all the materials. Now, let's say you want to see all the finished products in this plant created from my ID. My ID is this one, created by. You have to enter your user ID. Okay, now execute. Now you see, this is the one. Of course, the previous ones are created for other trainings. This is the one we just created. This is the one we created today. 4137, 4138, 4139. These are the ones we create. You can see like this. Okay. Now, suppose let's say every day you want to see only in the plant 1710 finished products and created from your user ID. No, so now every day coming here, entering this again will take a lot of time. So you can save just just give me one minute. Huh? Just give me. So now again, every day coming over here and entering this one again will take some time. So to say to to uh, populate this data automatically, you can create this as a variant. Okay. So what you do, enter this information, just click on the button save as variant. You will get this screen. Give the variant name. So enum enum underscore uh, I'll put one seven one zero and fault. Or FG. I'll put it as FG. Okay, give the variant name and its description. Okay, and save it again. Okay, done. Now let me log off. I will log off once. Now again, I will log in. Okay. Sorry. I logged in again. Okay, so now if I go to MM16, nothing is coming now. Now again, normally I have to enter again everything. This 1710 material type, my, my ID. So instead of that, what you can do, select this button. Here you see there is a button. I just said to execute button. There is a button here, get variant button. Click on that. You will get all the variants. Okay, now what we created just now? This one, one Vinam underscore 1710 underscore HG. Just select that. And just click on the button choose see those got copied here this will save your time and this variant one variant functionality you can use for any report not only for this one it can be used for any 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 kind of report, any report. it will save your time basically okay uh, so that is a material master report. and even this information you can download to a excel file you can download to a excel file also i will show you that later point of time here you can add the columns also some columns you can add the columns all those things you can do which we will discuss when we go to reports production order reports that time i will show you okay this conference will now be recorded so for now we will be talking about the views importance of quality essential okay so in the material master what are the views important for QM? what are basically so as we discussed Material master is basically a centralized object. Okay, it is used by all the departments within the company. As we previously discussed, it is used by all the departments within the company. So now we will talk about the views relevant for QM module, quality management module. So basically, in the in the in the material master, the only view important for QM module is the view called quality management view. Okay, so in this view, the data is divided into three sections. One is general data, next one is procurement data, another one is inspection setup. We have data is divided into, data is stored in three sections basically. So if you see here, 
if i go to the material okay so this is a material okay if i go to the material the only view important for qm module is this one quality management so select this view click on continue our plant is 1710 continue so this is the view so if you see here the information is stored in three sections one is general data procurement data another one is inspection setup so it is stored in three sections if you see here if you see here general data this is one section procurement data okay another one is inspection setup so data is stored in three sections okay so today today we will be talking about inspection setup the general data procurement data we will discuss when we go to the particular topics okay so today we will be talking about inspection setup here you see there is a button here inspection setup so so basically in this inspection setup you need to activate the relevant inspection type so when you activate the relevant inspection type you will be getting all these indicators all these indicators the moment you activate the inspection type so we need to activate the inspection type relevant for this particular material suppose let's say this is a purchased material this is a raw material it is purchased so when this material is purchased from a supplier we want to do quality inspection so when you want to do quality inspection you need to activate the relevant inspection type so to activate the relevant inspection type you see here there is a button inspection setup click on that button the moment you click on the button you will be getting this window so here again you need to again you need to click on this button create inspection type when you click on that you will you will get the option to assign the inspection type suppose if you click on the match code button you you will get all the inspection types available in this system so now let's say i want to inspect this material when it is received from a supplier against a purchase order so here you see there is 01 good receipt inspection for purchase order select that so put the cursor on that inspection type just click on the button apply now that will get copied over here now once it gets copied over here here you see there is a button check click on that button all the indicators will appear over here this will come from the configuration so i'll show you the configuration now itself so suppose if you go back let me go to configuration spro you need to go to configuration okay spro this we will discuss later on later on again okay so you need to click on this button sap reference img scroll down go to quality management open this here you have quality inspection open this here inspection lot creation open this here define default values for inspection type so if you go there you have the inspection types here all these inspection types will appear over here in this list in this list so now if you see here we activated 01 so if you select 01 go to details see whatever is there here these indicators will appear here will appear here so this information will come from configuration suppose by default let's say post to inspection stock check is activated if you want to deactivate it material level you can do the deactivate system will propose the information from the configuration but here you can modify it here you can change it. okay so before that i will show you one more thing let me cancel this okay so as of now we have not assigned any inspection type to this material so if you see here that's the reason here this checkbox is not activated the moment you assign one inspection type this checkbox will get activated automatically so let me let me take a screenshot of this let me take a screenshot of this okay so the moment i activate a uh, inspection type at least one this checkbox will get activated automatically so now as of now it is not activated inspection setup now I'll click on this button so now we assigned one activate it you need to you need to uh, active this checkbox you need to uh, um, mark this checkbox as active so once you activate it just click on the button continue see as we assigned inspection type 
now this checkbox is activated automatically. So this this says that this indicator says that there is one inspection type, at least one inspection type is assigned to the material. Okay. Now you can assign more than one inspection type to a material. Okay. So now we have activated good received inspection for purchase order. Okay, suppose let's say this material when it is transferred from one story location to another story location, you want to do quality inspection. So for that, you need to activate another inspection type. Again, click on this button, create inspection type, select, go to the match code button, click on the match code button. Here you see there is a one, stock transfer inspection, 08. Put the cursor on that, click on the button, apply. So now 08 got copied here. Now click on the button, check. All the indicators have come from the 08 inspection type. So now we have two inspection types for the same material. Activate it, continue. So like this, you can assign more than one inspection type to a material. Okay, according to the scenario requirement, according to the business function requirement. I'll activate one more. Okay, suppose let's say for this material, they want to do recurring inspection. So when they receive the metal for the first time, there is they do quality inspection but as per regulatory norms after every one year after every one year they have to inspect the material they have to do retesting so for that we have another inspection type. again click on the button create inspection type go to the match code button click on the match code button here you see recurring inspection for batches 09 select that click on check indicators have come you see here for this 09 this post to inspection stock indicator is not there. So this information is coming from configuration. But wherever you want to change, you can change, you can enter the information at material level. So now we have three inspection types. For the same material, we have three inspection types. Continue, done. Now finally, you can save it. So for the same material, we activated three inspection types. Now I'll go into display mode. Okay, oh, let me deselect, let me select only QMQ. Continue. Our plant is 1710. Continue. So now you see if I click on inspection setup for the same material, we have three inspection types. So for a material, more than one inspection type can be assigned. And this preferred inspection type, we will, I, will, I will explain later on when we go to the uh, uh, quality management in procurement. That time I will explain this preferred inspection type and how it works. Okay. So like this, you can assign inspection types according to the scenario required. Here we have activated three. One is when the material is received from a supplier against a purchase order, we want to do quality inspection. When the material is trans transferred from one location to another location, we want to do quality inspection. And we want to do retesting, recurring inspection for this material. So we activated three. Okay, I'll activate manual inspection type also. So let me go to change mode. Let me go to change mode. Okay. I'll activate one more. Click on the button create inspection type 89. You can select from the list, of course. 89. Other inspection. This is nothing but manual. Manual. Check. Here also you see post to inspection stock is indicator is not there. Okay. Activate it. Activate it. Okay. So I activated one more. Continue. Save it. Okay. Like this, you can activate the inspection types. So now the remaining indicators. Okay. So suppose let's say we have other ones. This procurement data. This what is this QM procurement key? What is the certificate type? What is this target QM system? We will discuss when we go to QM in procurement. That time we'll discuss. Okay. Now this one, like catalog profile we will discuss when we go to quality notifications topic and this inspection interval we will discuss when we go to recurring inspection topic. that time what needs to be entered here if you enter some value here what effect it will have all those things we will discuss when we go to the respective topics okay so here also even in the inspection setup these indicators all these indicators you see post to inspection stock sampling procedure Okay, uh, inspection with task list, all these indicators, what is their importance, where they are used. If you activate those checkbox, what's going to happen? In which scenario we have to activate? In which scenario we have to deactivate? 
all these indicators we will discuss when we go to the particular topic particular topics okay so that's how the uh, qm view works for a particular material okay so we have under we have discussed what is the view important for qm module what are the uh, the sections where the information is stored and how to assign inspection type how to activate inspection type for the material we understood okay we discussed okay